Let's get things started with a quick trip around the organization for our TFA buzz. Hello, Teach for America. This is Bretton Harris of the Regional Admin Team. And today, I have the amazing pleasure of introducing our new Admin Service Hub website. First, we've spent the past year listening to you and we're offering you a brand new website. Second, there's a brand new training hub. We've gone through every training and every resource that we offer to make sure that we've redesigned, rebranded, and updated all of our trainings to offer the strongest onboarding possible. Last but certainly not least, there's a brand new resource library. We've combed through all of the resources on our previous Google site, and we're proud to offer a much more organized, updated version of a resource library that's visually appealing and really easy to navigate. After spending a year crafting this resource and really thinking of every detail, we are extremely thrilled to be able to bring this to you today. Hey, I'm Rachel, and I work on the communications team here in New York. I'm here to talk to you about the TFA briefing. At this point, you've hopefully seen the briefing in your inbox, and you may be wondering, what's this all about? The TFA briefing is a bi-weekly roundup of the latest news stories and public conversations on Teach for America. Delivered straight to your inbox, the briefing also highlights important headlines in education news. The briefing is a resource for all staff members and alumni, and subscriptions are also open to core members, donors, and partners. If you know people who might be interested in receiving the briefing, please share it with them. Any questions or comments? Please email tfabriefing at teachforamerica.org. Thank you. Hi, this is Darren Glenn reporting for DO Support. As we find ourselves in the second placement season with the new placement tracker, I'm excited to share some updates with you. For this, I'm going to shoot it to our correspondent, Cassidy Rush, aka Crush, who's in the field with more details. Thanks, Darren. You know, this new system is more flexible. Regions can use categories to tag CMs and schools for more specific matching, can quickly create vacancies, and can add more specific license areas for CMs. Most excitingly, the placement tracker will house a hiring fair scheduling tool that will help you set up, run, and close out your hiring fair. Back to you, DG. Thanks, Cassidy. It's clear to see that this system has something for every region. Be sure to check out the GDP Wiki for training and resources, and join the Placement Tracker Manager's listserv. See you in the tracker! Hi, everybody. I'm ZB Davis from Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our inaugural early childhood retreat that we held on February 7th. We welcomed over 100 core members, alums, and community partners from the Mid-South area, including Memphis, Arkansas, and Mississippi. It was an incredible day of learning. We kicked off the day with some adorable student speakers talking about why they love their teacher and what they've learned this year in school. Did you know that pilgrims are real people? It was great to kick off the day with students and families. We learned together in sessions throughout the day. We learned about everything from public Montessori schools to oral language development to how to handle those tricky maladaptive behaviors in preschool classrooms. We even learned about CRT in early childhood, and we kicked off our book study with the book Black Ants and Buddhists. At lunch, there was a share fair for teachers to share best practices from their classroom and steal from others. And we had a passionate panel of community partners, all working with kids and families in Memphis, so that we could be more unified in our work together. It was an incredible day of learning, and we can't wait to do it again next year. Thank you to everyone who submitted to the TFA Buzz.